Hello and welcome to Triple Tutorial. Um, guys, I hope you are doing well, and I hope we are working on our project we have to submit during the week. Okay, please do your possible best to uh, to submit your uh, assignment. Okay, it's very important for this project. Okay, I think we enjoy uh, our uh, lesson, our previous le lesson, okay, which is. Uh, to creating the select uh, the letter head, okay, in just few steps, okay. T today, our uh, lesson here will be on how to design um, a roller banner, okay. This roller banner will refer to free pick, okay. But this is the uh, referring to free pick actually it doesn't mean that we are going to take one of their editable template and make it ours. Okay, we are actually going to take some of their premium design that you have to buy. Okay, we will just uh, download only the image, then we'll bring it in Adobe Illustrator and look on it and design scene. Okay, and this tutorial also, I will also uh, uh, to cover the, the shape too. Okay, how if you draw a square, how uh, the perfect tool you should use. To, uh, to, man uh, to, uh, to manipulate the curves and stuffs. Okay, so this video is just going to be that lengthy. Okay, because we are creating everything from scratch. Okay, so I will not be in the rush because I have to take my time, explain every detail to your understanding. Okay, so without much I do here, let's dive in. First, I'll just open my browser and I have uh, the free pick here already, so I'm going in for the roller banner. Okay, to so the roller banner. So, as you can see, all these ones are free ones. Okay, but when you look, this this also free, which you can so download it and make it yours. Okay, change the colors and you are good to go. Okay, now let's for example, I like this design here. Okay, it looks very simple. Okay, it, it, it looks very, very simple. But I have to buy. You see, it's very, it looks very simple, but I have to buy. And here, in the case whereby this what proves that you are really excited, okay? So, this is what I'll do I'll save the image, okay? I'll right click and save it as an image, okay? As you can see, I've saved one already. So, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll save a new one. Okay, so I'll minimize my uh, browser to open the image here. Okay, so happening the uh, opening the image, this is how it's going to look. So let's crop it. So I'm using the uh, Microsoft Office Mac Manager. Okay, so I'll go to crop and I'll just remove the, the areas that I don't want. Okay, so that's how I was able to get the first one. Okay, so that's. Uh, how okay so we take okay all right and the side is okay all right so i'll save it and i'll close the window okay so this is the side do no, i have one here already but i just want to demonstrate it for you so this is the side okay now Let's go into our Adobe Illustrator. After going into our Adobe Illustrator, we are designing a pull-up banner. Okay, and pull-up banner actually have a size. So let's go to the next. I have the size already, but I, I just want you to see the size. So the common size for pull-up banner is 850 millimeters wide by 2000 millimeters tall. Okay, so we are to create one so you go to file or if you are in 2007 then you just have to go to format and i'll just create my new here then this one i will set it to print okay so i don't so any of the size here doesn't matter so just change the uh, measurement to millimeters okay what we have is what this is uh 850 millimeter by 2000 sorry 2000 millimeter okay so now if you use a centimeter it's going to 85 centimeter by 200 
percent centimeter. So let's see it to six centimeter. So you see, we, we have 85 centimeter by 200 centimeter. So for me, I really like using the centimeters a lot. Okay, so I'll click create. All right, so the create actually, let's wait for the create. Okay, so now our so document has been created. Okay, as you can see, it's 85 by width, then 200 by height. Okay, all right, so what what we need to do, we have to bring in the image that we crop. Okay, so I'll please click on please, locate where my image is, then I'll go select one, then this one I'll not drag, I'll just click it. Okay. Before. So I'll hold on my control, my shift key, sorry, or you align it at the edge here, okay? But we want it to fall in the same side. And you hold on your shift key, then you drag, okay? So the drag is what you will get, all right? So now we have our image in here, okay? So let's just center it. Yeah, let's center it. All right, so after bringing in this, our image, so this is the, uh, this is the pull-up banner, and this is image, and you can see the picture is not clear, okay? So we are, we, now we are going to design every aspect of the artwork from scratch. So please pay attention, okay? First, earlier I do talk about, I will, I will show you how to use the, uh, great angle to uh, some tool to do your case okay so as many people are asking which to which to so let's for example have our uh great angle here Let, let's see the color to start with the orange okay let's see it's orange okay now if we, we want to keep this side okay it's not necessary for you to take the uh, curvature tool okay all what you need to do is come to the paint tool here okay then you go in for the anchor point two. Okay, so when you bring it in, don't let it fall on the line. Just let the anchor be inside where you want to drag it. Okay, then just click and drag. Uh, you just wait for it to change to a full black arrow with the curve over there. Okay, then you click and drag. So when you drag it, what can you have it there? So with these handles, you, you can click the handles here and manipulate it. Okay, so those of you who are having issue uh, doing the caves and styles, so with this anchor point, you can do a lot. Okay, so I hope you, you are getting it, and you'll be so happy for me to show you how to use it very well. So you can turn it at any angle, okay, based on wherever the shape is you want to uh, do your turn. Okay, it doesn't matter. You can stretch it and you can stretch it out. Okay, you know, you have created it. If you want to increase it, go in for the same two. You click the, uh, you can click the edges. It's when you grab automatically the handles will come back again. Then you just go on the dotted head, then you adjust it to whatever you think is okay. All right, and we can also click and hold on now. Uh, shift the port to duplicate, okay. Give it a black color. So, as I said, this video will be a, 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 a little bit, bit lengthy. So, then we send it to back, and you see we have we have the same thing, all right, guys. So, I'll just delete it, okay. Now, let's go back to our our main assignment here or our main project for today, okay. Now, this is what we do. We have circle containing an image. When we come to a square draw, we call it a power clip. Okay. When you come into Adobe product, we call it clipping marks. Okay. So without much, I'm going for my ellipse tool. Okay. The first, I hold on shift to draw my first circle. Okay. So my first circle will be this one. Then I hold on shift to align it. Perfect. Okay. So I've got my first circle. Alright. So we can 
push it here. Then let's duplicate the same circle. Then get our second circle here, which contains the image. Okay. So hold on shift. Let's drag to flow. Okay. Always drag, drag the angles. Okay. Never drag any of the top. Okay. So we drag. Then we drag this top here to fill it. All right. It doesn't matter how if it's bigger than what you have. Always, it's good to have it out so it will look different from whoever you are. Uh, it's copying this design okay so now we have this orange at the back so this orange we are, we are still going to use the circle okay this one we are also creating whilst you are tracing someone to okay try and also uh, putting your own creativity into it okay it shouldn't look the same as the person's school okay though you took the idea from me but you should you should let the person know that he after all, taking your artwork that you made that have copied everything from scratch. Okay. So now, now this one, the color there is orange. Okay. It's orange. So it's two colors. So here we are we're going to use the gradient for. So we click to, we click on it to uh, activate it. Okay. So when we been activate, we select the first one here. Come on here. Then we choose our yellow color. Okay, if the yellow color, we choose the yellow color. Maybe if it's too big, we can reduce it. Or if we click it down, we can. Okay, let's make it this one. All right, so we have one side. Then let, let, let's go for the second one as well. Then change that one to we double click to so, so yellow. Okay, so we are going to use lighter yellow. Okay. Then we click so we have, we have two colors in there. Okay, all right. So we realize that it's it's back of the main circle here. Okay, and that's how we, we want it to be. If it's not, you know what, what to do. You right click, you, you go to array, you send it to back. Okay, so like the down here, actually, we are going to be the same circle as well. Okay. We are, we are going to use the same circle here. Then we use the same gradient source. So you pick your uh, I try to drop out to then click on this. It will just give you the same sample colors. Okay. All right. So now we are left we are left with this our main uh, circle here. Okay. Which is here. So we put it there nicely. All right. So now we are done with this whole thing, but this is the main heading thing. Okay, so now let's bring in our picture. So let's create a new layer. Okay, to put our picture on it. Okay, or it, uh, it, it, it's not that professional. So let's just maintain this circle. Okay, let's copy it. Let's copy it. Let's copy. Okay. I'll, I'll use Ctrl C on my right keyboard to copy it. I'll create a new layer, okay. Then I'll paste it. So I have this circle on a new layer. So I'll delete this one, okay. Then I'll lift it to put it exactly where I want it to be, okay. So now selecting the this layer, let's import in our picture, okay. So you do go to place. So I have this picture here that I want to use. Assuming that's what the client gave you. Okay, so now we are going to do uh, the the uh, uh, the clip uh, the maximum clip. Okay, so first, please pay attention. There is very very important. If you didn't get it wrong, you will struggle. Okay, so you need to bring the uh, this uh, scala here to front. Okay, so I'll go to arrange and I'll bring it to front. Okay, so by doing that, then highlight the image. Okay, then go back to objects, then we click make. So you see, now we have gotten the image into our circle. So always the objects that you want the image to fall in, okay, should rather always be at back of it. Okay, so when you bring the image 
in front of it, then the power clip will not work. Okay, so always the image have to be at the back of the object that you want to place, like what we just did. Okay, so let me duplicate it and let's make some uh, more uh, examples here because I really want you guys to understand this concept very well because you'll be doing, you'll be having this option more. In this case, we want to put this image okay into the circle here. So the circle has to be in front of the image. Then you click to highlight both. Either you can right click or go to your object. Or when you right click here, then you click make clipping marks. It's going to fall in. Okay. Or if you go to object, it's going to give you the same thing. Okay. All right. So in in another case whereby you you bring the image to front. Okay. Let's see. Let's see the error that we get. So make. You see, otherwise, your shutter is telling us can't make clipping marks. The top selected object must be a path, okay, a compound shape, a text object, or a group of those, okay. So, what Adobe is trying to tell you is hey, you can't put uh, the shape to the, into the image here, okay, but either the opposite way. So, we send our image, we highlight, we click, we send it to back. Um, okay, so because for the image doesn't have any pool that you can place the shape in it, but the shape is a circle which is formed by points. Okay, so with that, when we highlight all, then we right click, we go to our max clipping, make clipping marks, and automatically we are doing the right thing. Okay, all right, I hope you have understood very well. That's why I said this video will be a little bit lengthy. So please take your time because these these are techniques that you need. All right. So I'll delete this one and I'll have this one and clip it back. Okay. So if if we can look carefully, we can see that the the like the, the edge here, the picture having fit into the circle very well. So for us to edit it, you double click, double click. Okay, you have this gray something which you are aware of. So we just stretch it okay by holding your shift key just to get a very nice. Then you you can ar arrange it with your arrow keys or you can drag it to place it how best you think it's okay. All right, so I'm okay with this. So either I'll double click here to go back or I'll just click on this arrow here. All right, to go back. And here we are. We have our first switch here. Okay, so let's just give the image some outline. Okay, so I'll double click again. I'll select the whole thing, then uh, it will allow me to uh, get the circle. Sorry, okay, so we select the circle here. Okay, then we can increase the size that we want. Maybe to let's see. Three. Okay, so if this is okay by us, we just let it. If the black that we want, we just let it go. So I'll set mine to five. Okay, then I will just click here. So we we'll click again. All right, so now we have some black around it because the size is not that big. Okay, it depends, all depends on you how big you want it to be. Okay, all right, so the next one is. We have some circle here, okay. So we bring this circle to front, okay. So we go to arrange, we bring it to front. Okay, let's go again. Uh, let's go again. We go arrange, we bring it to front. Okay, let's send this thing back. Uh, back. Okay, it's not being because of the layer, so let's drag it down here. So let's send this whole thing to back. So, all right, don't worry if it's not showing because we we'll, we'll just get rid of this one. So let us uh, undo it, okay? All right. So with this circle here, okay. So we are having issues. So let's so let's cut it, okay? Then let's create a new layer. 
So I hope you are following me. So let's create a new layer again. Paste the circle in it. So it will come with a green outline. So we still see that it's on layer three. So let's you click and drag it to top. Okay. So it will be in front of the picture. Okay. It's a new technique altogether. All right. So then uh, the fill is black. Then the outline is white. Okay. So we just increase the the size maybe by ten. It will change the outline color to, to white. So I think we, have, we just have to increase it more so we can see it. So 20 should be okay. All right, and now you can see your black color. Okay. Okay, so now I think we are getting there. So with the top here, with the top here, all what we need to do is create, use our rectangle to. Okay, I'm not going to do the text. I'm just showing you how to create the layer. Okay, so we click. Then, uh, okay. If it's overlap, no problem. I'll show you how you can save an image without the other areas here. Okay, so let's just remove the outline. We don't want to the outline. Okay. All right, so now we are putting the top one. Okay, we can drag it. So that Okay, so we send it to back. Don't want it to be at the front. So back. Okay. okay. So don't worry. So we will be deleting this one very soon. Sure. Okay. So the down here, I'm going to use the same circle. So I'm going to duplicate it. Put my circle here. Okay. In Ghana here, we don't use this. Uh, uh, whatever it is, but you will come to that. So let's just change it to black. So black. Do I can go the here and see the icon or should the put it brand here? Okay, now let me put this one here. Now we are going to use the pen tool to draw this out here. Okay. So we go to our pen tool, you click and hold to reveal the pen tool, then we click. Okay. So now we are going to make our first click here. Okay, you hold on the uh this one, you don't hold on this shift key, just let it be and you click. When you are about to do a straight line, then you go on the same scale. Then we click, then we just end it here. Okay, so now we have gotten this shape. Okay, how then do we get it? By now, I know you move. All right, so we go in for our uh, anchor point to Then we click to on the expand it. Okay, then you can do it. Okay, sorry. Then when it's okay, or you still need to reduce it. You go in for your direct selection tool, then you click on the anchor here, then you hold on control, then you drag it down. So then you can play with the handles. All right. So I hope this lesson is uh, tells a lot. Okay, so let's select it more the same color here. So we go in for our high property, then we click, then up. We, we have our color here. Okay, so now. Let's bring in the circle here to fix. You see, the circle here is green, but still, we, I just want us to do the same thing. So, we just bring it to front. Okay. All right. So, you see, guys, it's not that, it's not that hard. It's all, you see, it's all creativity. Okay. Something they say we should pay for. We just duplicate it perfectly. And we even uh, do some changes. We didn't use exactly what we have. Okay. So always, always, for me, if I'm out of ideas at times, and I went onto the net and picked some images or some designs, and I said, Charlie, this design will be you, and I can use it. Then automatically, what comes to my mind is, okay, let me take it. Then, so let me make it mine. So making it mine means that I just want to add some features to it. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have do some slight changes in there. Okay, so you put your text there. So now let's get rid of this whole thing. So we can mark where the text is from. So you can click, say, let's control R on your keyboard to reveal the ruler. Okay, then 
we click and drag the grid out to just mark exactly where we want the text to be here. So like this, so like this, and like this. Okay, so now when we are okay with it, let's just get rid of this one. So by the end it, so it's much Ha, here we are. You see, you see how beautiful it looks. It looks very beautiful. Okay, then let me show you another techniques how we can make this side flat circle but we can make it flat okay some some normally use the trim option then minus and stuff okay so when we have the um, rectangle to here they draw a line here okay then you just select the circle so then you come to uh this uh pathfinder okay then they look for the minus okay so the minus automatically takes takes off of all this okay let's drag it too much okay and we are good to go so let's go in for our we'll rectangle to again and draw a line here okay to minus the the red so always make sure that the field is empty okay so when we select the circle here then we click on this mark minus which if you are not having this option, okay, on on here, you go to Windows, okay, and you can find them here, Pathfinder, all right, okay. So I think we are getting the so we we'll do the same to our left side here, all right. I hope we are getting the so this one then let's see. We'll a little bit. Then we do see to here, okay. But here I just want to show you another. Method. <laughs> okay. So, what what you need to do is first go to the pen tool here. Then let's pick the elite and copper. Okay. Then let me zoom in a bit. I, I just want you to see the effects of the of it. So we take we take our delete and cut tool here. Then we click here to delete it. So the moment you click it, this is what you have. Okay. So here you come to the direct selection tool. Then when you pick it, you click on this handle. Then you go on control. Then you push it inside. Okay. To make sure that it doesn't overlap. Let's push it inside. Okay. This is not necessary actually, but at times. You need to know some techniques. Okay. So you make sure it's straight. Okay. Then you let it go. So when you let it go, then we can uh, pull it here. Okay. Then we can use the shift to expand it. Though I'm just showing you an, another way if you have a full circle and you want to uh, reduce it. Okay. So now let's go in for our. It's minus two again. So when you do this to this one, it's going to spoil straight because it doesn't have any anchor here. All right. So, so then let's use our rectangle to here to do the minus two. So remove the fill from it. Then let's highlight. And use our minus two okay, to have it the way we want it to be. So this one that we drag it. A little bit feel same like this. Okay, so if if we do this is small, you, you can hold on your seat and drag this one to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so now we use control one to uh, take control the road see everything here so here we are you see how beautiful it is okay uh do do we duplicate it and then we just do a copy it from somebody okay but you see how beautiful our artwork is okay so 
this one the way it is we just you just you, you can let it be just the outside okay it doesn't matter so when when you think this is okay okay so that's now you put in your text here okay you put in your text and make it yours if this one is too loud you can resize it and get it in. okay so you put your text in here put your image here you put your logo and your text here then um, you add that. so to save it you know you go to far then you click on save because this one you create it from scratch okay so i'm going to name it roller banner All right and we save it so after saving it let's export it for you to see the beauty of it i just want to explain one another option too okay in our previous video i said if you want to save something and you don't want the the outside line here to show in it you just have to use this uh, option here use artworks okay okay so then we can realize that the moment we activate it we have two here all and arrange so in, imagine you are having like uh, this artboard you are having three or four of them okay but you want to export maybe there's artboard number two okay but not all then you have the opportunity to change this to remains then if it's artboard two you just put in two so it's so let's say if you have about five artboard by the moment you you will put the range there then you make it two then it's going to save the artboard two okay and if you want it to save maybe one and five you put in one, then you put high food, then you, then you put five. So you are telling in Illustrator to export your first artboard designs for you and the fifth one, leaving the second, third, and fourth. Okay, so I think you, you have now caught in the idea and the inspiration is coming. Small, small. Okay, so this is our graphic design, is this creativity. It's not anything you take you take from the internet and edit it and make it or no. Some they pay me those me me if like I'm doing a, a, a design okay. I don't I don't actually go in for templates. I go in for pictures, things that they are selling it. So that design looks simple and attractive. So then I recreate everything from scratch. Then I then add my touch to it, okay, to make it more unique. So when you see it. And you view the one that someone is using, you can see some differences between them. Okay, so that's how it works. So this, so I've now explained how this whole thing works. Okay, so we go to all, but now we have only one at board. Okay, and we want to save it. We don't want this outer black into show. Okay, so I'll just click export because of it's a print thing, and you are exporting it. So you just leave it on uh, CMYK, okay? And you can increase how you want it either to be high or to be the maximum, okay? So you, you, you can even pull it. But the more you are pulling it, remember, the more bigger your file size becomes. So take note of that, okay? So then we click OK. All right, upon clicking OK, let's go to our dashboard. Okay, now we have the we have it here. let's open it and see wow. so you see we are having it perfectly so when we are doing it we didn't uh match this one very well but next time when you are doing it let's be careful let's just have everything in there okay perfectly all right so guys i hope you have learned enough by now you are laughing <laughs> because you, you have been now explored to the real world of graphic design okay by the time we finish this course trust me you uh you love to go deeper you would love to go deeper okay graphic design is good and we have a it's website designing course too uh, which is coming on so i'll just edge you all after this course and you and, and you think you are well equipped with the graphic design and you want to learn the wordpress aspect okay and you can use that to create a website for someone and take money two thousand thousand five three thousand stuff okay so actually 
as I, I said, I know one of you may get a contract which you may design whatever job you have been given to, okay? And you can even charge 100 CD. So this 100 CD automatically, are you not making profit more than me, the one teaching you? You are. But you have earned your 50 CD, which you used to acquire all these skills. And you have got another extra 50. So not to talk about the subsequent jobs that, that will follow. And you are making it. Okay. So, so as I keep saying that, actually, it's not about the money. Uh, it's just about the commitment, okay, and what I guess we, we, we want to impact into our youth, okay. So, guys, and one more thing we are this is our last uh lesson on this week, okay. From next week, we are entering into week two. So, please, those that have made part payments. Please, please, I don't want you to be stranded during the interesting side. Because from next week, what we are about to uh, attack is very serious. Not, not to talk of the, the last week, which to me is the three weeks. Okay, so please, I don't want any of you okay, to be removed because the person has been paid. He saw a balance. Okay, so do well and let's get your balance paid. Then we enjoy this class fully. Okay, after this class, our Google class is going to still remain active. So if you have any uh, issue or if you have any thing that you want us to help you on, you, you, you can always comment. Okay, you can always comment. All right, guys. So Sorry for making this video that lengthy, but it's worth it. Okay, so see you on Monday. Please, today we are to submit our assignment. Okay, but you can within today, Saturday and Sunday, try to submit your assignment before we begin the new week. All right, guys. So. Have a blissful weekend and see you on Monday.